This is Carolina AM. Welcome back to Carolina AM. And as we approach Super Bowl Sunday with the big game right here on Fox, we're getting ready to host your best party yet. And this morning, we're joined by Chef Jamie Saunders of Johnny D's. We're so excited that you're back here today because you told me last week you are going to do something with buffalo chicken. Yes. Uh, this week. But it's kind of a theme for you today, right? Yeah, buffalo chicken day. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay, well, I have prepared uh, buffalo chicken mac and cheese, mm -hmm. buffalo chicken wings, yep. and then we're going to make buffalo chicken sliders. All right, let's do so it. So this mac and cheese is very easy. You're going to cook your uh, sh your little shells, and then there's about five or six ingredients that go into the mix. A little um, six blend Italian cheese, buffalo wing sauce, whole milk, uh, all-purpose seasoning, and one single egg. And okay. that's how you're going to whip that up once the... Um, once the um, Pasta is ready. Yep. You pour it in there, mix it up, and then you're already going to have the chicken thighs cooked. So you chop them up, mix it all up together, put it in the oven covered. 10, 15 minutes, take it out, put cheese on it, put it back in the oven, let the cheese crisp, and it's done. Now, you told me you like the chicken thighs because it really is a juicy part yeah, of the chicken. It's so much better. Okay. It is so much okay, better. Okay, let's move on to the wings. The um, chicken wings here, the best, the easiest, the hardest, not hardest, but the most time consuming thing is to brine the chicken wings. So the day before, you're going to put it with water, all, um, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, brown sugar, and okay. apple cider vinegar. Let them sit in the fridge. The next day, when you take them out, you'll notice that the chicken is nice and soft. Important and, part of the process, though. It's very important. That's I feel like it's the most important. All that flavor absorbs into the chicken all night, and then it, I feel like it softens up the chicken. So it pulls, you know, pulls away from the bone a lot easier. So I just bake these in the oven as soon, with a little salt and pepper. As soon as they are done, toss them in buffalo wing sauce, done. Okay. You're on a roll. Yeah. I mean, it's easy. Um, these are the buffalo chicken sliders. Again, I use chicken thighs. Um, these, I cook everything in one pan. You're going to cook the chicken first with a little salt and pepper. Then you're going to take those out and cook the shallots and the onions with a little bit of garlic. And then put the chicken back in. Let the chicken finish cooking up here and mix in buffalo wing sauce. I mean, and you're done. Wonderful. And you told me now that this year you're, you're hosting a party at your house. I'm sure that a lot of people flock to your house when they find <laughs> out Jamie's going to be actually be cooking and you're invited. But you're going to do a kind of a theme for your I Super Bowl party. I am doing a slider bar. So what I'm going to do is I'll cook a piece of brisket that morning and I'll do like the buffalo chicken here. And I like my toppings. So I'll set up the rolls. I'll set up the two different meats and just put avocado, ranch, you know, all the sauces and just let whoever comes just have at it. So Which is a lot of fun. You know, I, and I did notice one thing that, you, of course, the tin pans, my wife uses these a lot for mm -hmm. parties because the cleanup is really, really yeah. easy. It's too much to have pans. I mean, most people don't have, like, 15 glass, you know, oven safe. Plans. Sure. This is just easy and just throw it away afterwards. A great way to do it. And yeah. so the sliders, you can just go ahead and start Yeah, we're, I mean, this is and how I like, like to eat them. So yeah. we're going we're gonna to do that, and a then uh, you can do A little avocado. Mm -hmm. the, and you know, I get the drizzle. Chicken. Hey, this all looks great, but if you want the full recipe and the list of ingredients, head over to our website. Do that, WFXB.com. And up next on Carolina AM, Find out how, uh, how I'm, I'm so hungry. Don't forget to put some ranch on here. How some unique health foods may help you avoid getting sick. Stay with us. Where am I? Oh, I'm